It's panic stations, and late yesterday afternoon, emergency crews preparing to be engulfed by a wall of water. Already leaving in its wake are outlying villages, and laying directly in its path is Griffith. Behind me you can see the sheer force of the volume of water which is travelling down the Marul Creek. The Northern Branch Canal is now spilling over, causing water to run towards Yenda and flooding the township. Few major roads remain open, and for those choosing to stay put, the fear of isolation has heightened. The threat of losing power a real concern, and local fuel stations and supermarkets are running completely dry of supplies. Being inundated with people coming in, just purchasing all the products there, that's sort of stocking up all the hard lines, all the bread lines are gone, milk lines. Evacuations ordered last night to residents living even closer to the CBD, with Yenda fully underwater. At sunup, Yenda residents got as close as they could to their homes, only to find a barricade blocking them off from harm's way. Back in 1956, when I was a kid, I seen it, um, living at Yagali, but uh, um, it, it was a different flood altogether. It's had three main roads to come over the duct as a levy. The alarming threat has moved to those in Bilbangra and other outlying farming communities. The Marul Creek at Wajeli, just outside Yugali, taking on a huge amount of water. Keeping our fingers crossed and hoping that it's not going to come our way. Many are simply wondering how long the water will run. I'd say it's going to be at least a week, if not longer, and then by the time we do clean up and then let trucks and that through, I dare say we won't be doing anything for at least a couple of weeks. Dean Foscarini, Wind News.